Welcome to Media Shift's Digital Media Brief, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids Coworking and Childcare in San Francisco. I'm Mark Glazer with guests Hamilton Nolan at Gawker, Jill Geisler at Loyola University Chicago, and Peter Stern at Capital New York. In a historic vote, the workers at Gawker Media voted 80 to 27 to form a union with the Writers Guild of America, becoming the first digital media workers to form a union. And they had the blessing of management and CEO Nick Denton. Now the question is whether unions might spread to more digital media outlets. Hamilton, what was the thinking behind starting a union at Gawker? Uh, the thinking was that there, you know, this is a online media is an industry that started out small and has grown big. And uh, as more people try to pursue it as a career rather than a job, uh, there are some workplace issues that people wanted to address. And I think people saw the benefits of bargaining collectively to get those issues addressed. And Jill, you said that this might be a possibility for a new kind of labor agreement. How would that work? I think this is going to be fascinating to watch. I think that um, the people at Gawker are going to bring different issues and priorities to the table than traditional union membership has asked for. Look, we all would love to have job security for life. We know that that no longer exists in the economic model of journalism. People will probably be looking for a, a greater understanding of what severance they may get. They may take a look at some of their working conditions and try to improve those, whether that has to do with scheduling or technology or indemnification uh, against risk, whether that risk could be anything from hacking to lawsuits. And, and they're probably going to look at just a greater sense of how we can predict what we're going to earn and what it takes, what we're going to have to do to earn more, whether it's done by accomplishments, whether it's done by time and grade, um, but to have a better understanding of how we're going to be compensated and can predict it. And Peter, do you think this is something that will spread to more digital media outlets or what might be some of the, some of the obstacles to that happening? I think that everyone in digital media is looking at what Gawker has done and it will definitely inspire a lot of digital media workers to try to unionize. At the same time, I think that since most digital media companies are not led by people as enlightened as Nick Denton, who would support the union and may actually try to oppose it, it will be very difficult for uh, a lot of these places to actually communicate with workers and convince them that a union is a good idea and would not, you know, alienate management. Thanks for joining us for the Digital Media Brief for Media Shift, brought to you by Next Space and Next Kids. Learn more about their pioneering program combining co-working and childcare at nextspace.us slash nextkids. We'll catch you next week. <laughs>